Aloha, Andrew here with another update. Um, yeah, so does it look like I'm ready to go be a um, researcher in Vanuatu? <laughs> um, I want to make this updated video to thank a couple people. I thank all of you, but I want to thank my highest donators, which is Fabricio in Peru, my boy, and uh, Jovi in Maui. Um, the two of you have made it even more possible for me to do things that I didn't think I would be able to do. Uh, initially, I thought I was going to be able to do everything. Unfortunately, due to lack of funding, I can't do an in-depth research project like I thought I was going to be doing. But I'm still going to make it robust nonetheless. And I'm going to be able to do a lot more now due to all of your help but primarily uh, thank you to both of you for being the highest contributors thus far and I think you've made it possible for me to go to the island in Vanuatu where kava is primarily uh, consumed and produced and used traditionally compared to all the other islands in Vanuatu, and that's Pentecost. And I'm looking forward to going there. Hopefully that's gonna happen. And I'm hoping to go to Espirito Santo and go to the Vanuatu Agricultural Technical Center where the Germaplasm Network is for Kava. And if you don't know, whoever's watching this, I am working with the Consortium for Pacific Haberia and through the University of Hawaii and other um, It's a whole network international network of Haberia, which is awesome and I'm excited for one of my advisors uh, is on board for that and it's really exciting com component of what I'm doing and uh, for now I'm gonna photograph specimens uh, cultivars and match them up and we're going to put them online in a database. Hopefully that can be something that can be used for future research. Uh, not just for me, but for other people. And for reference for humanity to come, you know. So that's exciting to think about. And yeah, there's, there's a lot of things going on in my project. Every day something's coming up. And I'm excited to go. And here it's 11 days. So technically it's 10 more days. Am I ready? No, not really. As you know, sustainable farmer. Gotta do that until I leave and um, it's gonna be worth it. All the hard work, all the mind-boggling processes that went into this. Some people don't think I put a lot of effort, but they don't have no, no clue how much work this has taken me. And um, Hopefully you do, you see it. Those of you who've helped me, I know you see the value and I see the value in you. Uh, some of you I've known for a long time, some of you are lifelong friends, some of you are family. And without you, this wouldn't be happening for sure. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do the best I can with what I've got. And I'm gonna be stopping in Australia, which is a side note. It won't have anything to do with this. It's gonna be on my own accord, my own funding. And that's on the way back to, uh, I just wanna say this, to look at re uh, permaculture, some gardening, see friends, and um, yeah. So that's just kind of a thing on the side that I'm doing for my own personal growth. I thought I'd share that, so it's cool. And um, I can share my stories with people in Australia about Kava. I'll try to do update videos. I don't know how the internet is in Vanuatu. I'm going to find out sooner or later. And I'll probably be like this, making videos. Because the Kava is really strong, man. No, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I've shown anyone the... Coconut shell, this is the traditional way that kava was uh, consumed by drinking it through this coconut shell. Oftentimes, in the 
Pacific area, they'll take um, hibiscus bark and they'll take the roots after they mash them up and uh, put it in the bark and then sh they'll like ring it and sh string it and ring, uh, ring it all like in different directions and get this like starchy substance that comes out and um, you know I've had a Panape variety recently I don't know the name and it was really really good um, I'm not going there but it just goes to show how kava in different places can be so different and you know when people say this tastes like dirt blah 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 la 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 I don't like it and they're not I don't know I don't know what to say to that because I don't think people are giving it an honest chance and they're not thinking about oh there's different kinds of kava they're just thinking kava's kava like I don't know there's over 300 varieties of kava anyway um that's another time another place i just want to say thank you very much if you've watched it this far thank you thank you thank you and if you do watch this and you do come across my campaign and my page and you're able to contribute again i haven't reached my goal but if you can help me get closer you allow me to do more and i'll surely update you as i do it and show you vanuatu with my i will bring this phone even though I cannot use it, I will take videos and upload them. So, and ask me questions. If you want to know something about Kava or my research in particular, what I'm looking at, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, I'll be happy to share that with you. Um, as I am not obligated by the university to uh, do to funding or anything like that. The only thing I'm obligated is, is to do is to conduct proper research that ensures that human subjects are not being violated and traditional ways of life are not being pi uh, there's no piracy going on there's no violations to their traditional culture and I'm respecting them and conducting research in an ethical manner that's all I need to do and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do it awesome and I'm gonna show if you ever do see this, I'm going to show the university that they should have funded me because nothing stops me. I don't care what it is. I would have went with $5 and I would have lived in the streets of Vanuatu. I would have built shelters in the jungle and ate all the plants in the jungle. No, I'm serious, but um, I probably don't have to do that. If I do have to do that, I won't have to do it as much. Uh, so thank you <laughs> uh, if that brings any solace to my mother I'm sure she's watching she don't want me to sleep in the jungle so thank my mother thanks you <laughs> all right uh, talk to you later